The healers on the headhunters are keeping them alive. And the warden is not taking any damage, bro. No way. We rage. We freeze into the topside multi. Queen dies through ability. Rip. We're back, ladies and fishes of the gentles, with the next OP match in the EWU tournament. Today, we got VN Tompy and I taking on Marcos Gaming, and let's see who's gonna be victorious. We got Metro going in with some Lalo action with a Dragon Rider, okay. Giant, Queen, going for the Town Hall. Looks like there's a bunch of Teslas here. He brought a Yeti to help support. That'll take out the Archer Tower. We got the King on the right side of the base, okay. Skeleton spell, giant, queen, a skelly trap pops, a third tesla is there as well. Skelly spell to help the king. Headhunters and a lava dog coming out of the CC. Oh, that king's getting roasted by the single target in front of the tower. We're actually going to rage the royal champion to make sure she gets that scatter shot. Invis the queen. She gets to the town hall. We pop her ability. Down goes the town hall. Down goes the expo. The royal champion still inside that rage. Pops the lava dog pretty quickly. We got the poison spell for the pups. We pop her ability. The expo is still up. She goes down. But I think he got everything he wanted from the Sui. The only question I have is, was he expecting to save that rage spell for the Lalo? Maybe. So that's really the only downside here. He might have had to use that rage spell to help the Sui when he wasn't planning to. It's hard to tell. But here we go. A good Lalo and this will work. Let's see what he's got. Stone Slammer took out the Eagle. It's over the enemy Royal Champion. He's sending Headhunters, popping the Warden ability, but I think they're going for the King. We got a Skeleton spell for the enemy Royal Champion. He only has one haste for this Lalo. He did have a Rage spell that he used early to get through that top left side. There goes the one and only haste to get him into the multi-targeting Inferno Tower. There's still that Tesla farm on the south side and potentially a lot of red bombs around that single target Inferno Tower. Ooh, Dragon Rider goes down to a Seeking Air Mine. The other Dragon Rider dies as well. We use the last freeze on the back end. There's traps, though. The balloons are dropping like flies. Ooh, it's not going to work out for Mature. Uh-oh. Rip. We got the Warden. We got the Owl. But getting through that single target Inferno Tower is going to be tough. I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. Warden goes down south. There's another red bomb. He's going to get through the storage. Bro, this might be a 99. It actually might be. This wizard tower is going to kill most of the lava pups and minions. Woo! Warden gets targeted first. That's not ideal. Rip the warden and the tornado trap is there. And the skelly trap pops. Rip. Rip. The skelly trap might kill the headhunter and it's going to be a 98 instead of a 99. Four, three, two... One, we run out of time at 98% to start the map. VTS Alfonso is in with the first attack for Marcos Gaming. Coming in with a little skelly donut action for the core. We get the Inferno Tower. We get the CC. Yes, down goes the CC. Perfect start. Okay. Sneaky Goblins on the right. They're going to sue you for the Town Hall. Ice Golem, Queen. Queen should be able to get the Town Hall. Where are we going to use King and Royal Champion? Ice Golem pulled the Tornado Trap as well. Nice. Nice. Another Ice Golem and King on the south side. Probably going to use the Royal Champion over there to help. Ooh, there's a lot of traps though. Ooh, a lot of traps. Oh, rip. This is going to be rough. Queen pops her ability, gets the Town Hall. But there's so many traps on the Royal Champion right now. Ooh, we pop King ability. The RC's already low. She hasn't even gotten inside the walls yet. How far did they get? King's looking okay. RC moving to the right. Bro, she might not get the scatter. Ooh, we try. Oh, she's going the wrong way. Does King still get the scatter? RC comes back around. They get the scatter together. Ooh, that was close. A well-timed freeze there, and they actually could have taken out the queen, too. Okay, I mean, it's still possible. Here we go. He was expecting that air defense, expo, maybe even the archer queen to be dead. So, this is going to be a little rough. I'm going to try to haste some balloons to fix this. 
Down go those defenses on the 7 o'clock side. Stone Slammer takes out the Ego Artillery. Rest of the Lalo coming in from the top. We're going to send Headhunters to the Royal Champion. Pop that Warren ability right away. Stone Slammer should hopefully path to that left multi. Rest of the Lalo on the top side should go to the upper multi. We got a lot of freezes left, but no more haze. Ooh, gonna work. A couple of Dragon Riders in the core, but the Queen is popping off on them right now. Still one more freeze to go. We're actually gonna use it on the Queen? Interesting. I feel like it might have been better just to let those Dragon Riders die and use the freeze to help the Balloons get through the Wizard Tower, because that Queen still kills the Dragon Riders anyway. Oh, this is going to get sketchy at the end here, especially with the Warden Tower, who hits like a truck. I don't think he gets it. No, he doesn't. It's going to be two super close defenses back to back to kick off the match. Or? Yeah, it's got to be. He doesn't even have the time to get down there. <laughs> B and Tompy and I going to have the better percent, though. They got 98 on their first attack in this one. Does he get 96? Yes, he does. 96 compared to a 98 rip. Walk is in with the next attack for VN. Tompy and I bringing us a little uh, Queen Charge Lalo action. Okay. Playing Flinger on the south side of the base. We start Queen over at 5 o'clock. <laughs> nice. He takes out the Queen right away. Got a Mortar there to worry about. Queen taking out some of these Teslas. Which way do we want her to walk? Kind of hard to tell. <laughs> Ooh, she's stepping to the right. I don't think he expected that. Are the Teslas messing up this pathing? Ooh, she's low on HP. It's stuck on a skelly trap. King trying to clear this right side. You go back down. Oh my gosh, more skellies. I mean, Flame Flinger will be able to get the scatter shot on the bottom here, but Queen is just goofing right now. King going all the way to the right. Balloons on the Archer Tower. Okay. Pop that king ability, queen goes back in for the eagle. We do have four wall breakers. There goes the first one. The cinder inside that compartment. We freeze the scatter shot to help king clear that entire compartment. Rage the queen again. We are running low on rages. We still got the town hall way on the other side of the base to worry about. We're gonna wall break queen into the right inferno tower. Okay. Poison spell as the CC troops come out. Headhunters, super minions. Queen will be able to easily get through that. Yeti's coming out of his flame flinger. Okay. Queen gets the super minions. We invis her. Royal champion on the top side. Are we going to be able to push Queen to the town hall? Or no? Ooh. No, this is going to get awkward. We're going to Lalo from the 11 o'clock side of the base. Here we go. Just going to go straight through the town hall. We freeze the Town Hall and the single. That'll keep Queen ability intact a little bit longer as well. We got RC ability. One more freeze on the Town Hall. Yes. We got the Rage. Get ready with this Warden ability. We can get the Royal Champion in it, hopefully. Yes, we do. That's beautiful. Tornado Trap pops. That's awkward. 53 seconds on the clock. Oh, Giga Poison. Woo! Giga Poison and Multi hitting the balloons at the same time. That's not good soup. Royal Champ popped her ability. That Inferno Tower is still up, though. Rip all the balloons. I think we're going to be able to squeak by, though, with the Queen ability, the Warden, the Owl, the Yeti. With Yeti Might still alive, he gets it, right? He's got to, yeah. That's a three-star. That's a three-star for Hawk, a triple for VN Tompini, and pressure on Marcos Gaming now with the next attack. Marcos Gaming is in with a little Zap for a Sweeper Hydra action. Okay. Here we go. Are we going to blimp the Town Hall early? Yes, we are. Battle Blimp going in. Goes over the cannon, gets to the Town Hall. Down it goes with the Sneaky Goblins. Yes. Perfect. Town Hall drops. E-drag to funnel the bottom side. Okay. We're going to send the Hydra in. Bottom... The, the left side, right? Yeah. Queen, looks like we want her to go inside the eagle compartment. We'll see if she actually does. Dragons are in. Balloons. Warden. Early as heck warden ability, question mark. And he lets a dragon die to the air defense. Now we rage. Now we pop a warden ability. Okay, there we go. Queen, gonna step inside. Or do the skelly's puller. 
We'll go inside. We're going to have to fight the king, though. We don't have a headhunter to help support. That's a little awkward. Queen gonna have to go to ability early. Early. We rage. We freeze into the topside multi. Queen dies through ability. Rip. Rip the queen. She died to a giant bomb while popping her ability. That's the worst. I hate when that happens. King pops his ability on the top side. Unicorn is switching over to dragons. We still got Royal Champion to use, but there could be a Lava Hound in that CC. We get through the scatter shot on the top side. The Dragon Rider hits a million traps. Here comes a Lava Dog. This is a big rip. This is a big rip with the Hound coming out. Right? Uh. Oh, we got the poison. We got two freezes. We got an invis. I swear, dude, this still triples. No way. Does it? We pop ability early. Do we start freezing? When do we invis? He's got decisions to make. He pops ability early to get through the Builder Hut farm. Freeze the Inferno Tower and the Expo. The Unicorn actually switched over to the Royal Champion. That makes such a huge difference. Freeze early again. We'll get through the Expo. Being distracting the Archer Tower a little bit. He doesn't have time anywhere. Even if she was able to stay alive through all the defenses. He's got a Rocket Bloom. What? I mean, I guess. Invis early to get through an Archer Tower. Rocket Bloom on the Scatter Shot was a little bit too early. Oh, it almost took out that scatter, bro. The one HP scatter. But rip this attack. Not gonna pan out. It's gonna fall short at 92%. Oof. Amualin is in with some queen charge. Lalo for Vian Tompinai. We start the queen over on the 7 o'clock side of the base. He cannot reach that multi over the wall. But what's the plan here? We're gonna battle blimp it nice and early. That's the plan. Probably a Yeti Bomb. Yep, we'll rage it up. Should be able to get several defenses there. And we get the CC pool right away, which is a bonus. They get the Eagle. Do they get that left Expo? Yes, they do. Nicely done with the Yeti Bomb. They even grab some of those Builder Huts. All three of them? Wow. Beautiful Yeti Bomb, actually. We can deal with the rest of the CC troops now. Wizard inside the Rage to help us get through the Hound nice and quickly. Okay. We already funneled all the buildings on the right. Queen should go inside here. We don't have any wall breakers at all. Oh, so, and no jump spell either. So we're just kind of expecting her to do what? We won't be able to get the scatter, which is awkward. But the king will be able to get the scatter. Okay. Queen will fight the RC. We probably don't even need a spell. Well, that's beautiful. How did the RC shoot the queen once and then just start ignoring her? Did anybody else see that? That was interesting. Royal Champion on the right to support the king. And here we go with the Lalo. Straight into the Town Hall compartment. Queen getting locked onto by the single. Ooh, we still got to pop her ability anyway, though. On the queen. Nice. Freeze up the Town Hall once more. Rage. Get ready with the Warden ability. Yes, sir. Juicy. There's the Tornado Trap. King and RC can hopefully take out the single as the Lalo skips the Giga Poison. That's nice. Queen dies. We freeze the Scatter. RC's still alive though, bro. And the healers are switching over to help them out. It's looking good. Really good for Amualin. It's wrecked, actually. We got it. An Invisibility Spell to Swag. Two extra Sneakies for cleanup. Another three star. For V in Tompinai in this base is smashed. Beautifully done and huge pressure on Marcos Gaming. They gotta start tripling. Marcos Gaming are in with a little queen charge. Hydra action, okay. Here we go. We start the queen on the left side of the base. Nikki Goblins, wizard to funnel. Sure, sure, sure. Where the healers be impatient. Not going to drop them yet. There we go. Coco Balloon. Healers are in. Queen gets the gold storage. She'll walk up. We're going to wall break on the left side of that DE storage. Healer gets targeted by the Archer Tower, but I think it's not that big of a deal because Queen will snipe it right now. Okay. 
Now, how is this queen gonna path? We got one more wall breaker. Is it for her? Yes, it is. We're gonna wall break on the left side of that X bow. Rage up the queen. We're we not gonna use our headhunter there. Guess not. We're gonna let her just raw dog through the king. Down he goes. Now she'll be able to fight the queen shortly after as well. Still with the same rage. That's a beautiful use of one rage. Gets the builder hut and she walks down into the eagle. And here we go with the hydra from the top side of the base. We still have that one headhunter. He has to try and fight the royal champion. Here comes CC troops. Queen dipping out. Going the wrong way. We wanted her to get that left multi. Uh oh. Might go back to the left though. If the dragons take out this scatter shot quickly. Right now she's just beating on a wall. Being a classic queen. Oh jeez. We pop warden ability. Yet now she switches her mind. Oh. Bro that queen is wild. Battle blimp gets to the town hall. Hello tornado trap. We got a yeti bomb. But the town hall drops. Good. Good news. Queen on the left getting some more value. We need somebody to go path to that multi. Of course as soon as I say that. One dragon goes. But oh my goodness the traps. Rip that dragon. Uh. RC is going to kill all of our, the dragons in the core. We're going to have to send Royal Champion to the middle to fix this. We got one more Rage, one more Invis. We're going to have to Rage the Queen. He will. Poison Spell on the enemy RC. That at least helps a ton. Warden Dragon and a Dragon Rider on the right. Still getting some decent value. Queen gets the Scatter Shot. RC has her ability and we got an Invis. We pop her ability. We're holding the Invis be patient with it need it just yet oh that was too early bro she was only targeted by a wizard tower at least save it to when she gets targeted by the archer towers oh i think that was bad decision making she might die because of this now she does and it's gonna be a time fill i think if he holds that invis there's a decent chance rc makes it a lot farther rip arcos gaming are struggling against these vn tompy night bases dude we're gonna run out of time here. Three, two, one, at 93% rip. Diego! It's in. For V and Tom and I, more Queen Charge Lalo. Here we go. These guys love their Lalo. We start the Queen on the right side. Cool. Wizard to help funnel. Couple balloons on the south side with a wall breaker. Nice. Where are the healers on the Queen, my guy? Healers, Woo, she low. She's okay. We're gonna have to rage up very soon, though. Very soon. We're gonna need a freeze as well. Oh, perfectly timed freeze. Look at that. Rage spell. King going in for the eagle. Oh, but she's gonna skip the scatter. Yikes. She might go back around eventually, but this is gonna get a little awkward. At least the Warden Tower is not hitting her while she fights the Hound. That would be even worse. He pops the Hound. Gotta deal with the pups now. We got Royal Champion in on the south side of the base. Is there a chance that pup pulls her back inside the wall gap? That would be phenomenal if it did. But it does not. Gonna go for the CC building first. Then she might reroute all the way back inside for the scatter. We got a log launcher, and she does reroute. Look at that. Royal Champion on the left still has her ability. We got two invis. She should be able to at least clear the multi. I think that's the goal. And he's going to make the expo invisible. He really wants to make sure she gets the multi. But now the expo stays up. So that might have been a mistake, making the expo invisible. If it hits the queen, then I'd say it's a mistake. It might never hit the queen, though. Ooh, queen! Oh! Ability? Did she just die through ability to a king swing? What the? Rip. We got a Lalo through the town hall to save this. We need the ice golems to pop. Are they going to freeze the town hall from that angle? No, they don't. Oh, that's awkward. We pop warden ability. We rage. Tornado traps there. We got the two star. But it's not going to triple. Those balloons are going to fizzle out fast. Rip. Rip. The king was like swinging at her and her ability popped right before he actually hit her and his swing killed her through the ability. That is wild. 
Archers on the left aren't going to be able to get any more percentage points, and it's going to fall short at 83%. Master Atif is in Marcos Gaming. They're still not out of it, but they have to triple their last two attacks. Let's see if they can do it. E-Drag with a freeze to funnel on the left. Okay. okay. Hydra coming in from the top side of the base with the Warden on the air to support. We pop that one ability. Battle Blimp going for the Town Hall. Rage both groups of dragons. Rage over the Town Hall. Balloons will take it out, even with the Tornado Trap behind. Nice. King and Queen deployed from 1 o'clock side to walk to the right. We freeze the enemy Queen. Need a Dragon to take her out quickly. Down she goes. King walking inside the wall gap. Hopefully he doesn't pull this Lava Hound. Can the Dragons take out that CC? Oh, the timing. Oh, that was so unfortunate. The Lava Hound came out like half a second before the CC building died. Rip that timing. We got a Poison on the right to help out. We still got Road Champion to use. We still got two Freezes as well. They're gonna work. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Owl gets locked onto by the single. He's gonna let these dragons in the middle die. He's saving the spells for the heroes. We got king ability, we got queen ability, we got royal champ ability. Not to pop RC ability right there. Freeze was so late. RC fighting, enemy RC. We're gonna freeze, we got a headhunter. RC's still gonna die though. Yep. All up to the king and queen. If the queen goes perfectly inside for the scatter shot and he's funneling the gold storage to make that happen, this still has a chance. But we don't have the yak and queen's gonna have to beat through a wall to get the single and I don't know if she's gonna pick a good wall or not. Relying on her to pick a good wall? <sighs> there might be too many defenses anyway. She's gonna have to pop ability early. Yeah, rip. This is a defense. She gets the Tesla, she gets the other Tesla, she gets the elixir storage, and she goes down. Hold on, bro. I swear, if this unicorn saves the day, no way this still triples, right? Unicorn healing the queen, but if she targets the DE storage before the archer tower, which he's got to, I don't think he stays alive through the archer tower, or does she? Or does she? Bro? No way. Hold on. He gets the Archer Tower. Does she have time to get all the way back to the single? Bro, this is gonna be a 99 on time. Oh no. Rip Marcos Gaming. Three, two, one. The 97%. Oof. Rigo Torres is in with some more Queen Charge Lalo. These guys are seriously obsessed with Lalo. And I'm all about it. Queen Charge Lalo, my favorite attack strategy. You rage up that queen. You use the king over on the right. Okay. Queen will take out the Archer Tower. She'll go inside. Nice. How far do we expect the king to get? Do we expect him to take out the enemy royal champion? Might be tough. Log Launcher for the Queen. Interesting. Pop King ability. He'll get the Eagle. He'll walk down. He might take out this Royal Champion. Yes, he will. Beautiful value. Queen fighting the enemy Queen. Is he paying attention? Oh, rip the ability. What are you looking at? I need to rage the Queen very, very soon. Like, right now. Woo! So late. Log Launcher pops. Need Queen to path to this core multi. And that's actually looking a little questionable. Oh, she does. Wow, dude. His Queen is so nice to him. He gets the core multi. Then she'll path to the single. We got Royal Champion on the right. Okay. I'd be ready to freeze up the single. We already lost Queen ability. He's going to go with the invis first. That'll work. Is she going to move all the way to the right? Oh, that's awkward. That's really awkward. Are you paying attention? Yeah. <sighs> Where's she going? She wants the sweeper real bad. We got a Lalo through the town hall. We're gonna have to let the queen die. He needs the freezes for the town hall. Lalo is so sketch. This Lalo is so sketch. What the? You better freeze that town hall, my dude. 
Riga? Freeze it! <gasps> Jeez. Rest the balloons on the top left. We haste into the mortar. We freeze the air defense. There's traps though. Rip the homie. It's gonna fall apart here on the last couple defenses. Man, he almost didn't get that town hall. Bowsers. Bomb tower gonna drop. It's gonna be such close. Oh my gosh, he might actually get this, dude. No way. The healers on the headhunters are keeping them alive, and the warden is not taking any damage, bro. No way. No way. Warden? Clutch up? Oh? Two shot. Three shot. Whoever doubted him, not me. <laughs> That's a three star for Rigo, bro, and another triple for Vian Tompina. Eleven is in with some P.E.K.K.A. Smash action. Let's see if Marcos Gaming can get a three star today. They've been struggling against these bases, although almost all their attacks have been super close, like 97, 98 kind of percent attacks. Gordon, the funnel a little bit. Okay, I guess we expect him to take out the Eagle Artillery. Baby dragon on the right, sure. Gordon will get the mortar. Gordon will get the eagle. And then I'm guessing we're actually gonna smash from this bottom side of the base. We rage up the warden. We wall break. Yeti, siege barracks, and here we go. We need to pull the warden, yes sir. Ice golem, Pekka, second ice golem. Lots of Pekkas, King, Super Wizards are in. Here we go. Jump spell on the left. Okay. These Super Wizards should be able to melt through the Lava Hound pretty quickly. Yes, they do. We're holding on to this Warden ability for a while. Send a Headhunter. What the heck are these jumps? Those jumps look wild. Royal Champion, holy skelly traps, dude. Oh, he just dropped his Royal Champion into like 17 million skellies. Pekka's Wizards, Queen, trying to make the way over toward the Town Hall. We're gonna freeze up a Warden Tower, sure. RC, still exactly where we dropped her, rip her. Did she even make it to the Scattershot? Maybe, maybe not. No more spells, she's not even gonna get the Scattershot, dude. Rip. She had one job. It was to get the scatter shot, and she can't even do that. Queen, are you going to get the town hall? Woo! Barely. Barely. She died to the Gigabomb right after that. We got king ability, but that's it. Everybody died. Everybody died. Rip this attack. We got a king. We got a Pekka. We got some healers. Minion on the top side for percentage points. We pop king ability. 45 seconds on the clock. Hello, giant bomb. Rip all the barbarians. Tornado trap. Gonna spin us in circles. We doing the disco dance to end the attack. Or to end the match, I guess. But rip. Rip this attack, dude. I think this is actually gonna be their lowest percent attack. Minions and archers on the top side. King gonna wrap around the wall. We get the Elixir Collector. The King will grab a couple more buildings, but we're gonna run out of time just above 80% here. Nice try to Marcos Gaming, but man, were they struggling against these VN Tompini bases today. VN Tompini came out strong. 13 stars they put up. And they're gonna get the victory over Marcos Gaming. Let's take a look at stats. 13 to 10, 96.2% to 92.2.